Hello, welcome to math. For today in math, what we will do is we will represent and solve addition word problems. How we're going to do that is we will use manipulatives to model and solve a word problem. And it is important so we know how to make a model in order to represent a problem. Let's go ahead and review our vocabulary words and two new vocabulary words before we start today's lesson. First vocabulary word, which you've already seen before, is add. So when we add, we are joining. So we are putting things together. We are joining them. So one strawberry plus one strawberry is two. So when we add, we are joining. Subtract. When we are subtracting, we are taking away. We are separating. So if we have three dogs and we're taking away one, that means we are subtracting. We're separating. And our total, the word total means the number of objects we have all together, the total. So in here we have four ducks. And solve. Every time we see a word problem or a number sentence, we are solving. We're trying to find the sum, the difference, the total. We are solving. And our two new word problems, this is our first one. It is a strip diagram. Everybody, let's say it together. Strip diagram. One more time. Strip diagram. Ooh, ooh. So this is a strip diagram. Let me position it. So it is a strip diagram, part, part, whole. So... When the whole is unknown, you add the part. So part plus part equals whole. So right here, if the whole is missing, so if we, we don't know the answer, we don't know the sum, the difference, we don't know the whole, we are able to add these parts together in order to get our whole. So if we have one part, and another part, we're able to add them together in order to get the whole. So this is a part, part, whole, and it's a strip diagram. Our next new word is equal sign. So equal sign is a symbol that means is the same. So this is our equal sign. It is this one right here, the two lines. And right here, six equals six, because they are the same. So six equals six. Six is equal to six, our equal sign. It means they are the same. Let's go ahead and look at a word problem in order to practice working with a strip diagram. So right here, I have a word problem and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw it out. And we're also going to create our own strip diagram. So we're gonna go ahead and practice that new vocabulary word that we learned. So let's go ahead and read the word problem first. There are six blue birds in the tree and three red birds join them. How many birds are in the tree? Okay, so let's go ahead and I see first, there are six blue birds in the tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my linking cubes and I'm going to Put six bluebirds. So we have six bluebirds. So I have one, two, three, 
four, five, six. So I have six blue linking cubes to represent the six blue birds. I have six blue linking cubes. So right here where it says draw, I'm gonna go ahead and draw six dots to represent six blue birds and my linking cubes. And I'm also going to draw a six right here. So in our strip diagram, let's look at our vocabulary word. So right here, we have whole and part part. So our whole, we want to know how many birds are on the tree. That is our whole. We're trying to solve that. So we don't know how many birds are on the tree. But what we do know is that we have six blue birds and three red birds. So we do know each part. So I'm going to go ahead and put six blue birds right here. Uh, six right here because we do know we have six blue birds. Now let's read the problem. And again, and we notice that we have three red birds. So I'm going to go ahead and grab three red linking cubes for my three red birds. So I have one, two, three. So I have it like this. So I have six blue birds and three red birds. So six blue cubes and three red cubes. So I can go ahead and draw my three red cubes and I have another part. So I can draw my three right in there. So it says, how many blue, oh, how many birds are in the tree? So it says three birds join them. How many birds are in the tree? So what are we going to do in this problem? What are we going to do? Are we going to add or are we subtracting? We can see in this problem it says, Three red birds join them. How many birds are in the tree? So three red birds join them. So when we're joining, what are we doing? We are adding. So we're going to add the six blue birds and the three red birds. So we're going to go ahead and add them together like so. And we can go ahead and grab another color for when we join them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when we count them all together, we have nine blocks. So that means we have nine birds. So let's go ahead and I have linking cubes. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, I need another one. And then I got another one. So now we have nine. So we have our part. And another part, so our first part is six, and then our second part is three, and then what is our whole? Well, we can count them. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're putting them together, and we to get our whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we get our whole, which is what number? Nine. Yes, our whole is nine. So right here, we're going to put nine.
because when we add a part, so go back to our vocabulary word. When we want our whole, we are going to add one part and another part. So part plus part. So we are adding both parts together, which is six and three, and we get nine. So how many birds are in the tree? Nine. So our answer is nine birds. And, and explain your answer. How did we get our answer? What did we do? We added, yes, we added six blue birds and our three red birds. So we used our manipulatives, our linking cubes, in order to get our total, in order to solve for our whole number, which was nine. So here I'm going to say, I added six bluebirds and three red birds. So I explained my answer. I added six bluebirds and three red birds because that is what we did. We added six bluebirds and three red birds in order to get our total, which was how many birds in the tree? Nine. We had nine birds. In our word problem, we had six bluebirds and three red birds. So let's go ahead and draw our strip diagram on our anchor chart. So we had six bluebirds. So I'm going to go ahead and draw our six bluebirds. So I'm going to go ahead and put a blue square and write six right here. Then I have six, and then I am going to go ahead and put right here that it is our part. Our six blue birds is one part. For problem, we also had three red birds. So I'm going to go ahead and put three right here. I'm going to put a red square for our other part. I'm going to go ahead and label it part. So we have our part and our part. Then we have our whole. And this is our whole because we want, wanted to know in the word problem how many birds are on the tree. So, if we go ahead and do 6 plus 3, because we have 6 birds plus, oops, we have 6 birds, 6 blue birds, sorry, I'm going to make it blue, and 3 red birds, that equals our whole number, so question mark. So we had six blue birds and three red birds, and we wanted to know how many birds are in the tree. So in order to do that, we did one part, six blue birds. Our next part was three red birds, and then we were trying to figure out our whole, which is how many birds are in the tree. So this is our addition strip diagram. Now you can go ahead and click on video number two for today's assignment.